won't have to have the official. I hope not. If you owe him some dough, how do you owe a cop high school money? <laughs> I don't know. I think they lied and said I, owe, I lost like a bunch of books that I didn't lose. Oh. You want to just keep this up here when you come back? Yeah. Let's just put it on the table. Put it on the table. He'll, he'll chat with you in here. Hey, hey. Hey, Jesse. Chuck, Anthony yes. has a question for you. Sure. That you can answer if he has some unofficial transcripts. Uh, so he can get his official is done. Can he be considered uh, a compass catholic? We'll look at him, but we need official transcripts to okay. make a decision on was it a private high school? No, it was a public. Why do you have to buy books? Uh, no, we don't, but if you lose them, you that's like money loss. Oh, you lost your books? Yeah, you? well, I don't think. But you like at the end of the year, you turn your books in, and they're like, oh, this book does belong to you. It's someone else's book. And then you're like, oh, great. Okay. So they withheld your... Yeah, so they don't give you your transcripts until you pay off the debt. It's kind of like getting a college meeting. Uh, right. <laughs> Yeah, well, so just call the school, have them send the unofficial the for unofficial, now. Unofficial, and then we can hold those. But I can't make a decision until we have official okay. transcripts. Okay. Cool. All right. I'll try to get that done as soon as possible. Then. Sure. Yeah, even if that's the last thing that you do, uh, mm -hmm. you start to get your other stuff turned in. He'll have a file open for you. Okay. And he'll, he'll let you know. Hey, hey, Anthony, you got everything in except your transcripts. Mm -hmm. Okay. This sound stage they do a lot of work in. They put the big green parachute cloths up here. They do a lot of stuff, you know, where you would, where you, uh, like in Gollum and gone with, with in um, Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he was all dressed up in a, in a green suit. So you have a lot of green screen production. In here, as long as see if you can go out the set, we have cameras stacked up to the ceiling in big plastic, plastic uh, suitcases called pelican cases. Uh, so if, we'll go downstairs, and if they're going on the set today, we'll find out. Because that's the way to see it. Otherwise, I got to open the door and open a box and go inside and see the pieces of the camera. <laughs> right. Now, our clients is not part of us. They do share the building part of the building. Yeah, I got confused when I walked past. I was like, yeah, it's school and I kept coming out really in September and October. And this whole city uh, has a huge art exhibit, and it's for three weekends, and thousands of people come in. We put a chain in here and a sign up. Mm -hmm. So when you come through here, the people get their maps. And here's the deal: it's three hundred thousand dollars first place, place prize. So all these coffee shops have art in them, and they have sculptors and all. It's just unbelievable. That's the last two weekends of September, first weekend of October. And um, so if your mom travels, it'd be fun for her to come up and see the city. <laughs> she does not. This is Hollywood Square. Uh, it's not really the studio lounge, but there are a lot of students that hang out here. We have a lounge on the other side of the building. Um, it's got microwaves and fridges and all kinds of stuff. Right. This is a, maybe a writing class. A lot of the seniors are out doing their thesis for them. Right. X-Men too? No, well, Ralph Winter did X-Men and Wolverine, and he's, he's a little bit younger than I am, but mm -hmm. uh, he joined our advisory board. The reason he did, he said he was shooting um, Wolverine with Hugh Jackman mm -hmm. in the Warner Brothers lot. He said he had about 100 people in the crew, and he had 12 interns, some were Pepperdine, USC, UCLA, and various, he had some in the compass. And he said he noticed that this, the three students out of those 12 really seemed to know a lot about the right ways to wrap the wires up and all this stuff. And, they, and some of the other interns were asking, how did you know, to do things? They just want to know how you learn all that. And so it was a very hands-on school. So yeah. Ralph actually gave him a visit, but he's, he said the funny thing is he walked across the sound stage and he tapped a young woman on the shoulder. He said, where do you go to college? So he was watching her. 
<laughs> she said, I go to USC, University of Southern California. Mm -hmm. And he said, what grade are you in? She said, I'll be a senior next year. And it's the first time she said, I've been around all these cameras and lights and all this stuff. So Ralph said, well, what have you been doing the last three years at USC? <laughs> she said, studying film history, film theory, film aesthetics, foreign film. Blah, blah, but she wasn't getting anywhere with that. No hands-on stuff. And she said, next year, as a senior, they're supposed to shadow a director for one month. Mm -hmm. So she comes on campus. Remember, Ralph had 100 people in a $40 million movie. Right. He said, well, how many people will you have? And he said, <laughs> yes, she said 150. So he said, how are 150 young folks going to get any? We had nothing to do with this. Gone with one. Uh, you mean, can we come back and get somebody in our center? Uh, he heads up our center of excellence, which is more what you call the cracks academically, mm -hmm. uh, or all the cool stuff that we do. Mm -hmm. Austin, I'd like you to meet Anthony. Anthony, this is Austin. Anthony, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. Austin's vice president of college. He heads up all the things I've been telling you about. Uh, Jackson has somebody in the office. Oh. We'll talk a little bit about, about that. He drew funding, or if you want to be able to do with more film festivals. Now you got a real professional scene like this one. You know, this is a real fun comedy we did last year. Um, you care with me? Hi, how are you? Hi, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Hi. Hi. Nice, to nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Well, I'll introduce you in a second. Okay, sounds good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We have. Um, is this a sound uh, like for music? Yeah, but we have a much bigger studio. Uh, Roy, who teaches the freshman year, who would be teaching you, mm -hmm. um, he has a studio called River City Studios. We rent part of it from him. And you go down, and he's got a huge you know, sound board and all that. He scores lots of TV commercials and movies and stuff. Makes music uh, and do those kinds of things, then you can. You can step inside there and got the vibe and vlog if you want to watch your stuff. <laughs> Thank you. I think he just locked me in here. Can you hear me? Hello? Checking? Ooh, I like that. Sounds pretty cool. Can you hear me? I don't think you hear what I'm saying. Wait, he's laughing. Hold on, I think you can hear me. Can you hear me? Wave, if you can hear me. Did you hear what I was saying? You're blind in the dark. No, I can't. That's <laughs> why it's called a whisper room. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Oh, I'm vlogging. You're not He's camera shy right now. Hi. Hi. How are you? Nice. nice to meet you again. <laughs> nice to meet you again. Yeah. Lisa down in Illinois, and uh, Anna does, uh, she goes to high school like I do. She does some stuff to the bigger things. Okay. Student lounge. Student lounge. Good stuff. Good place. Uh, Thank you. Lounge. There you go. Lounge lizards are here. I like that seat right there. Now look at these walls. It will not come tumbling down. <laughs> Bring back chairs. Um, and here is a public class. Uh, as we're walking the side, so we can say a theater. It's 109 people. Hi, guys. Hello, we're at the end, we're at the end of our uh, voice and movement. Well, cool. This young man wants to be an actor. This is Kristen. And some of her, some of her actors plans. Hi. He's from uh, Illinois. I'm also vlogging. Yeah. So. Nice to meet you. Nice to nice meet you. Uh, Anthony, did you, did you say? Yeah. Anthony okay. and Kristen. Nice to meet you. You guys introduce yourself to this gentleman. Logan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Sam. Anthony. So, Jacob. if you want to direct it, does not hurt to take a couple of acting classes as well? Oh, okay. Well, of course. I think it should Talk be fun. Talk to Logan and everybody else and tell them what your vision is. <laughs> it's about knowing the director, knowing how to speak to the actors in a way that they're going to understand. All right. Have you done any acting by home? No, just at home. <laughs> with family. So. Well, that works. Yeah, it's always fun. There you go. <laughs> well, when you see your films here, uh, they look a lot different than here. Um, these big speakers, it, uh, it looks a lot different than on your computer screen. Now you know where you are. Oh, wow. Back to the top. There you go. Um, Funky old cool building, but it was built by 1890. We remodeled it, still got a lot of the same structure on the ceiling. We didn't change a whole lot. And I am done with the tour of the school. Everything went according to plan. From what I heard and what I've seen, I'm very impressed with the school. I'm ready to start. I'm anxious. I'm 
fired up but I just have to find a way or find out how I'm, I'm gonna pay for school that's another dragon it's a whole different issue okay so from what I heard this school is awesome it helps you focus on the things that I want to focus on and for the entire visit I think I made my decision that this school is top was on the top of my list but I just got to figure out how I'm gonna pay for school this uh, school is not expensive it's not the most expensive school but it's also it's I'm very I'm independent in this situation so I got to figure out how I'm gonna pay for this school and how I'm gonna get through all of this by myself because I don't really have that financial support that I might need and I do need to get through school but um yeah I, I don't know so I guess I gotta take the necessary risk to get where I need to be because working a daytime job is not something I'm meant to do I just I'm, I'm not feeling it I need to follow my passions and do what I need to do and take everything as it comes and um yeah, but I think I made my decision. Got a long drive back home. Three hours. Three hours down, three to go. I'll see you guys when I get home. Ooh, it is good to be home. All right, everybody, I'm back home. I'm safe, drove six hours today, plus a little bit on my way back home. Anyways, <clears throat> thank you guys for tuning in to today's vlog. I know it's not very, maybe not, all that good but it'll get better in the future but um i have some decisions to make and i'm gonna have to catch you guys another time thank you again for watching palmer productions i'll catch you guys next time on the flip side peace out